Experts say America's bridges are deteriorating, and while they're in decent shape tonight, our infrastructure needs a lot of work. The average age of America's 607,000 plus bridges is 42 years. The American Society of Civil Engineers gave our bridges a mere C plus on their safety and maintenance report card. None of this is a surprise to Jackson County Roads Director John Vile. We have an infrastructure problem nationwide in our sewers, waters, bridges, roads across the board. Vile's department covers approximately 300 Jackson County bridges and he says they've replaced 30% of them in the last few years. Our bridges are in very good shape. People should feel comfortable driving across the county bridges and they should not worry that we have collapse potential. But Vile also notes there is much to be done, especially since earthquake predictions have changed in recent years, and so have the standards for our bridges and roads. Much of our infrastructure is not built to the, the, the earthquake potential that is now being predicted. The Oregon Department of Transportation recently did some seismic work on the Medford Viaduct, and they say they inspect their bridges at least once every two years, and more often as the condition of the bridge declines. But without some much needed cash to repair America's bridges, $76 billion, according to the Federal Highway Administration, they will continue to deteriorate, eventually putting people at risk. A recent Gallup poll said two thirds of Americans are against paying more in gasoline taxes to fund bridge and road repairs in their own states. And it didn't matter if the respondents were Republican, Democrat, or Independent. In studio, Craig Smullen, NBC5 News.